So when I first got to Hawaii in 1983, um, I, was, I had no clue about the culture here or the food here. And I was really excited to come. And, but I was disappointed to learn that most of the food being served in resorts and high-end restaurants at that time was still continental cuisine. And I had a real passion to do fresh food. I was also really inspired by going to potlucks and primarily the potlucks with the Kauai Hai Canoe Club. And I wanted to be able to incorporate what was going on in the potlucks for the guests who come to Hawaii. So when we started doing the farm to table, it was probably 1986, I think, is where we really started. And first thing to remember about it is that our goal was really just quality of food. Agriculture in Hawaii was all about export. It wasn't really grown for domestic consumption. So there wasn't anybody that was growing for restaurants and for food to be consumed here. So we had to do what eventually uh, we called guerrilla purchasing and that meant we had to use every tactic we could think of to try to find locally sourced goods. It went from everything from running classified ads in the newspaper that said, hey, if, if you grow something, we'll buy it, to planting our own, to going out and meeting farmers. And meeting the farmers was a really important, vital part of the farm to table movement. Once you get to meet the farmer, you realize how incredible these people really are because to be a successful farmer, you have to be humble, you have to be smart, and you have to be hardworking. Some of our farmers are still with us 35 years later. So the way I got to Maui was uh, the famous restaurateur Rob Thibault called me up somewhere around 1990 and asked me if I would come and consult for his company. And uh, I said no, and <laughs> he made me an offer I couldn't re refuse. So I came over and consulted, and then I went back and he called me up and said, um, do you want to do a restaurant with me? And I said, no, unless you get that place on the beach, which was El Crab Catcher in Kanapali. And anybody that knows Rob Tebow will know this is true. He called me up six months later and said, I have that place on the beach. And so that's how we started uh, Hula Grill Maui. The food represents who he is. You know, it's ingredient driven. It's the story behind the food. It's the integrity of the food. And when you think about Peter, when those of us that spend a lot of time with Peter, we realize just really how his integrity is so strong and it comes out in the food. I want to work in the restaurant that I want to hang out in. And he's the exact same way. Every decision he makes for the restaurant is based on his own wishes and what he wants to see out of a restaurant that he spends his time in. Employees today, they want more than just a paycheck and what they want to do is be part of something and be part of a movement. And we feel like we're part of a whole entire community here in Hawaii. So we're working to help protect the ecology. We're, we're working to buy from local farmers and ranchers and support the local economy. Also perpetuate the agricultural lifestyle that's been in Hawaii for forever. And, and just to do things right and do the right thing, be pono about our activity and being part of the community. I work for the Hawaiian Islands Land Trust and Peter was uh, among our first uh, Hawaiian Islands Land Trust board chairs and has just contributed so much to both to the organization and to the conservation efforts on Maui. When I learned that I was getting the Lifetime Achievement Award I was really excited about the, the recognition because as everybody in, in our industry knows that you do this day in, you labor day in, day out, it's really, really hard work and there's no Super Bowl. There's no, nobody ever stops and takes a snapshot of where you are and what you've done. So it's, it's really nice. I'm humbled. I know there's a lot of great chefs, a lot of great restaurateurs here in Hawaii. So I, I, I'm not sure that I'm deserving, but I'm certainly super appreciative of it. 